congrats um, and uh, because he showed me what my purpose in life is now no? um, it's purpose to serve um, I was gifted with a beautiful wife Jamie we have yeah. she's very supportive she's a really good psychologist eh ako man may likit so diba yun ay sa kaligad na may mag guide sa akin we also have an 8 month old baby so that is what keeps me on the go and it gives me that extra passion to become a better person to become connected always to God so that I can lead by example and Jesus, God is will and forever be in the center of me and Jamie's and my family's at first above all else above service because I believe that um, he will guide us. No? Uh, uh, in the Bible, it says that um, uh, Bishop, let me read this uh, uh, Psalms 19, 5 then, or 519. A lamp to the word is a lamp to 119. your feet. Uh, 100, yeah, a lamp to your feet and a uh, Psalms 119, no, verse 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thank you, thank you. Because it is always when you say something from the Bible, it always have it always has to be correct. You cannot make it. Belang dagdag, belang bawah sini. Mari galit segera cahaya. So first of all, then, na introduce kau sendiri lagi. I want to share a little bit of my story, my background. I grew up in an okay family, kind loving family, but. Uh, my father was a very strict uh, father. Uh, he used to be, uh, he was a, an army man, a military man. He served in the Korean conflict. He fought during the Korean War. And um, he was, yes, blessing too. And uh, yung mom ko naman, uh, she was a good woman too, um, but very strict. Grabe yung corporal punishment. Pag kumain kami, 5 minutes. And 15 minutes. Pag maligo, 5 minutes. Lahat kalkulado. So, at a very young age, even if they supplied me with all the needs, uh, all the wants in life, no? Um, I still wasn't happy because eventually, when I got a bit older, I wanted to get away from home. So I did, and I rebelled. I had it my way, or the highway, always. I had that king baby mentality. I forgot about God. Um, I was my own God. And yes, I entered show business. I had the money, I had the wealth, but I wasn't happy. The, a lot of things were lacking. I had many cases. I had so many um, encounters with the police. <laughs> How ironic that I am part of uh, this organization. It's. Um, Siguro, this is the purpose talaga, no? Um, anyway, so, uh, nag-drugs ako. Uh, eventually, naging alcoholic. And then, I hit rock bottom. God took away everything. 
He took away my mansions. He took away my cars. He took, he took away, uh, eventually, mamatay din tayong lahat. So, he took away my father and mother. So, naging orphan ako. Uh, just recently, in 2017. So, I had to stand on my own. Um, and that's where God entered my life. No? After being in jail for... Uh, a month plus another month kasi different cases eh uh, may case ako sa <laughs> sa Quezon City and one in Pampanga no? this is not detention real jail talaga it was pretty tough and um, um, when when I was there may mga leaflet about God and then time very timely because um, Bishop he was talking about um, uh, the story of Solomon and um, it's a leaflet uh, it, nakasulat doon yung story niya and nasa book of Ecclesiastes diba? it's about wisdom and I was praying and praying um, because of my bad behavior walang dumalaw sa akin um I was hungry, tira-tira ng polis yung uh, pinakain sa akin. Tira to, ako ng parang aso. Which, I do not regret. I am grateful that that happened. Because, um, because, of, that re uh, because of that experience, God humbled me down, and I, I knelt down, and I said, Father God, please just, um, get me out of this rut and I will give my life to you I surrender everything and um, I will uh, I'll serve <laughs> sorry sorry there. praise God praise God sorry for being you know real men cry no? yeah yes and this I know this is very therapeutic it cleanses the soul mm. It's a gift, actually, from yes, God. Yes. So anyway, um, eventually a miracle happened. Binisita ako ng brother and sisters ko, and they said, "What? What do you want to happen to your life?" And I said, "I surrender. Let's let's go to rehab. I want to go to rehab. I want to fix my life." And then I, <laughs> me, uh, at that time I was still being manipulative. So I manipulated my brother um, uh, and my family say, and I told them that, but please, let me choose the rehabilitation center. Can I have my treatment done in Cebu? Because I know so many good friends in Cebu and I love Cebu. No? Uh, and they agreed. No? Answered prayer. And um, that's where I found my identity, my identity in Christ. No? Yeah. Wow. So, um, yes. yeah, um, it's not the pattern na, na fake na kailangan pag lalaki ka, kailangan macho ka. Kailangan marami kang chicks. Kailangan, uh, that's called people pleasing. We don't have to please anybody, but please God first. Yes. And it will come. Magigita naman at mararang naman ng tao yan, if you're sincere or not. Or not. And then, um, how funny, if you see the um, geography ng Philippines, right? Where do, we, where do we find Cebu? Center. It's in the center, right? And I believe that um, there's something magnetic and very powerful in the center of the Philippines that drew me there. And that's where I found God, Abba Father. And um, that's how I started humbling down, serving in the Lord, also doing service work for, um, doing symposiums, symposiums uh, uh, to talk to, like anti-drug symposiums, and mental health. Um, What's that love? Mental health awareness. Um, because it's very, it's, it's a very, when we talk about mental health, uh, it's very complicated. Because 
there are people who are not yet uh, or hindi addicted to drugs pero may konting uh, supply na sa utak may konting likit na lumalabas na e-enhance siya kapag under the influence na o pag naging addicted na itong tao na to. So, we want to prevent that. And we also want to educate um, uh, these people not to, we're not going to um, uh, tell them na we're not going to uh, uh, scare them away, but we're gonna educate them and remove the stigma and uh, make them more aware so that they can shy away from the bad things. Eat good food, stay healthy, have that positive mind, stay connected to God. Also, um, um, I've been going to jails from Central Luzon, Inigotko, going to Tigos, Davao, uh, also uh, talking to medical. You know how God, God is so good, huh? Um, because um, when I entered uh, the rehab facility, I couldn't utter words or phrases. I was stuttering because of um, uh, the pain of the death of my mom and trauma, not the drugs, but more on alcoholism. No, alcohol kills too. No, alcohol is more dangerous actually than drugs. Because you can buy it in, uh, anywhere. Sorry, sorry, store. If you drink in one year, if you drink three times a year and get drunk, really drunk and hurt other people, you're already considered an alcoholic. Okay? Um, so everything in control. Yeah, uh, drink respons responsibly. Um, when it comes to Drugs naman, that's a big no-no. Kahit man, what? It destroys families, relationships, and um, malas sa buhay. No? Ang dami dyan, mayayaman. Pag nagsyabo na sila, wala. Pakdo. Di ba? So, um, yung akin lang, na bless. <coughs> Uh, uh, since nung nag rehab ako, I committed my life uh, twice a week ako nagba Bible study, nag connect ako sa Maranatha, and then nag connect rin ako sa my fathers I'm also connected sa CCF I know sina Paul, Tanchi I also know sina Pastor Ito and Pastor Peter um, and sa Victory also uh, I, I know the elders there um, and they're the ones who actually guided me and I'm so grateful na nakilala ko sila um, you know God is so good Amen. praise God so eventually um, after four months in recovery that was the time that I I did my sim I started doing symposiums and talking to people isipin mo from not be from not able to be to speak god led me to uh, talking to uh, how many now 6000 6000 kids 6000 people some uh, we would go to uh, medical schools we talk to psychologists doctors um, and being part of these programs and I'm like, wow, who am I? I'm God. I'm just, I'm just an actor. Hindi pa nga ako nakapagtapos ng kul, hindi pa ako nakatapok ng kulehil. But the good book, the Bible, uh, I started reading it every day, every day, every day. Knowledge, knowledge. Uh, really uh, soaking in the spirit and just loving every quiet time with the Lord. No, uh, it helped me, uh, and the Holy Spirit guided me. To, to to reach kung man sa 6,000 people na yan, or kahit sabihin natin 200 may ma-reach man lang na isang soul to save one soul para dili magubang ang buhay I think a cert 
mga partners, ano na tayo? We're already successful. One family at a time. One yes. person at a time. Yes. Yes. No? Um, uh, what else? Um, so, um, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm perfect. Um, this is struggle, daily struggle every day. No? For every, each, each and every one. Yeah. Uh, we all have our problems, monetary, spiritual, um, uh, mental. Everybody has their, their own um, um, bad habits. But um, by God's grace and help and mercy, he will guide each and every member, member to give us the strength because when we are weak, we are strong uh, in Christ Jesus. Yeah. We cannot claim. Actually, mas gusto nga ni God yan eh. To tell you the truth. Mas gusto ni God na we acknowledge Him, we are weak, and ito, Lord, Lord, please give me the strength to, even just, for example, just today, to see each one of you I was praying because um, I'm a very very shy human being to tell you the truth kaya ako naging alcoholic eh, para kung mapal yung mukha ko eh. <laughs> totoo yun um, so slowly slowly God you know as long as I am faithful to him he will always be faithful to me he will never leave me he will yes. never forsake Amen. me um, when I'm anxious, I pray. Um, it and then here's here's the thing, no, um, partners. Um, sa duties natin, I believe na if we have good motives, um, hindi yung personal motives, I think He will bless our group. Amen. Our, um, yes. Um, and siya na lang ang magsusupply ng lahat ng needs natin. Mm. Um, so hopefully um, uh, he cleanses yung mga, mga recruits yung mga nasa loob he cleanse niya talaga yung heart or i-convict niya ang um, hearts natin uh, to become kasi we lead by example we have to lead by example and um, what else Holy Spirit um, yeah um, to lead by example so <clears throat> um, sorry brain fart yeah, that's why don't ever take drugs or alcohol brain fart but um, I just wanna also add that everything we do is um, for him uh, all for him not it, 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 our hashtag should be less of me but more of him amen for his glory for his yes, glory that's, yes. that's what i wanted to say thank you holy spirit thank you god uh, anyway again i'm byron geyser um thank you thank you for uh listening uh, god bless you all happy sunday blessed sunday